the big elephant in the room this year, you know, um, probably story of the year is AI. So, you know, we'd love to get your thoughts on, um, you know, AI or other trends if that, that come to mind and just how you think that's going to impact, you know, whether that's businesses hiring or people trying to train for cybersecurity or how we educate folks, you know, what do you, what do you see the impact of, of that being? Uh, I guess I'll throw it to you first, Brett. Um, sure. Yeah. And, and I'm super interested to, to hear what you have to say here as well, Eric. I mean, for me, I, I, I often think about, you know, how are those on the other side of the law looking to use AI, right? I think that's an important question because then you think about people on what I would call the right side of the law, right? then we've got to defend against that. And then there's some pretty interesting things going on. I know Keytron Evans, our um, VP of Portfolio Products has actually um, written some blogs and articles for ISACA and, and does a lot of work with your organization, Eric. Um, but I think about things like, you know, simulated phishing attacks and how AI is um, being used to like really customize and personalize messages to make it even more believable. Password guessing, similar things. Um, evasion, like where um, some of the malware basically will continuously adapt in order to try to evade, um, you know, and not be traced by, um, you know, uh, antivirus or other software, um, automation of attack. There's so many ways in which AI is being used now that then what's that's forcing us to do is on the defender side is to kind of use AI to combat combat back, right? And whether that's, you know, using AI from like the phishing standpoint to, to try to give a read and understand what's happening uh, with the emails coming through and making and flagging, um, you know, things before they actually get to the end user and, um, and so on down the line. And so I think when I think about how this is a relatively new phenomenon, even though machine learning and other things have been around for a long time, I think since the last year, AI has been the big topic and chat GPT has opened up the world to thinking about how to use this more, um, that we as cybersecurity professionals now need to start thinking, one, how are other people using it as a threat so we figure out how to use it as a counter to that, as well as then trying to figure out how to use it um, to both shore up our defenses, um, as well as to make ourselves more productive. Um, and I think, I, and, I, and I, I'm gonna miss the quote. Um, there was a recent quote, I think it was about a year and some ago um, from the government, I believe, I, I won't say where I believe it is, but like, Essentially, he was asked, you know, will AI take our jobs away? And his response was, AI is not going to take your job away, but people who use AI are going to take your job away. <laughs> and I think that's very relevant for what we're doing as we think about this validated learning, think about how AI now plays into our future and our work. Um, it's so important for us to start experimenting, playing around, and keeping up to date with what's happening in the in the industry, particularly as it relates to cybersecurity. So, Eric, sorry that was long-winded, yeah. but love to hear no. your thoughts. It really well said. I we definitely look at it um, in similar vein. Um, the only thing is, I'm probably more on the edge of. I, I see this as an expansion of roles uh, within enterprise more than a contraction of roles within enterprise. I, I, the threats are multiplying. Uh, through the use of AI, which means that not only do we have to be comprehensive and being able to apply AI, AI to defend, but we actually need more people to help develop, whether it's the scripts, whether it's the queries, whether it's the making certain that we are comprehensive in our approach to defending the enterprise. Um, so it's, it's interesting when uh, people have brought this up to me in the past and they've said, well, it, you know, uh, jobs are going to go away. Uh, I look at it as, no, we're just going to be a lot better at doing the jobs that we perform. Uh, so instead of sampling, you know, 10 instances out of out of 100 to see whether or not we're covering well, we're going to we're going to actually do 100 percent testing in everything that we do, because we're going to realize the vulnerability of the single instance coming through is catastrophic for the enterprise. 
So the our belief, my belief, is that AI is going to actually springboard our profession even faster. Uh, it's going to create more opportunities. There are going to be more uh, sophisticated opportunities um, because people are going to, again, have to understand the technology at its most fundamental uh, place. They're going to have to understand how it works and how people are engaging with it within the enterprise. Uh, I'll comment one more, one more point which is with AI, we're seeing different penetrations of our firewall than we've seen in the past. Uh, normally, we've seen those penetrations through authorized sources, and we've, we've kind of cordoned it off in terms of applications that are coming into the enterprise. Now, they're going out with data, and, and sometimes the AI isn't hosted within the firewall. Sometimes the AI is hosted outside of the firewall. That represents a threat for us. And we've got to make certain that we understand every aspect of it, what's touching it, how is it being responded to, and that there are controls put in place. So to, to me, this is a springboard. This is, this is a, um, an event that doesn't occur that frequently. We see kind of new technology coming that changes our world pretty, pretty substantially every 10 years or so. Uh, they seem to be getting faster, not slower, but AI is one of those events. Uh, AI is going to change everything that we do, uh, and we're going to need to make certain that uh, the entire universe of cybersecurity professionals are well equipped in order to take it to the next generation. Yep, and I think just one more comment from my end too is I think that you know at Infosec, I know we think a lot about how do we integrate AI into the way that people learn too. Not only is it understanding sort of the threat landscape, what's happening there and how to defend against it, it's also how do we use this as a tool to meet people where they're at and give them the content, understanding, labs, experience, other things that they need to really progress. And AI has provided a way for that to happen unlike anything that I have seen in the past. I think as an educator, we've always talked about, you know, meeting a student where they're at. And it's been really difficult to do that. You do a battery of assessments, you do all these things as a way to try to get there, but then you've got to come up with custom curriculum paths, which is very onerous and all those things. AI starts to unlock that for us in a way um, that at least, like I said, for myself, I have not seen in the past. And so it's not only a tool on the cybersecurity side and how it's both being used for, for good and bad, but it's also a tool on the learning side of helping people drill down quicker, faster, and becoming more skilled in their craft uh, through the use of this technology.